Go check out FIFA Coins online for great deals in getting coins on Ultimate Team. Hey guys, Cullyboat3 here and welcome to episode 14 of the Real Dale. Now we started this episode off with yet again more trading, but we've only got four things in the watch list waiting for us. But they are four big items, the first being Alexander Pato, who we got actually in a CF, it's not actually a striker. And we also got that in form there, Maxime Lestin, I think is how you pronounce his name, for 10k. That is his second in form, he just came out of packs on Wednesday. And I actually did sell him for quite a bit. I also got a Tevez and a Fernando Torres for a good price. I got Torres in a good formation there. And we made another addition to the team. And as you guys know, we did desperately need a centre back because our defence was just absolutely shocking. I was conceding so many goals in the last couple of episodes. So hopefully Pepe will shore up the defence. And I decided to go for Varane instead of Albiol in at the other centre back position. Mainly for the fact that he just has better pace. Uh, Albiol's got 52 pace I think. Something around the low 50s. And Albiol, uh, or sorry, uh, Varane or Varane uh, has just above 60. So I just, I went for him in the end even though he is rated 5 less than Albiol. But anyways, after I did pick up uh, that Pepe, I actually did end up selling all the players before I even got a chance to go in and play some matches. You'll see there Tevez sold for a good price. We got Pato sold for 15k. Torres sold for 32, so we made a bit of uh, profit off him. And the big one there, we sold Lestian for 20k. And he actually sold it in the first couple of minutes because he was the only one up in the market. And I was debating whether to put him higher because there was none other on the market. But then I risked uh, the fact that someone could list one a lot lower than 20k. So I'm happy with the 9k profit I made off that. It's absolutely unbelievable and a great trading session. Anyways, I crack on in and played some games. As you can see, we are in Division 2 and we're making that push for Division 1. We're on four points, I think, at the moment. And the first guy we come up against has a full Premier League team. Some good, quick players in there, like Valencia in at right forward. I've seen him up there. But I did actually end up taking the lead. And it was none other than Jose Callahan. Uh, no, I'm only joking. It was Jose Callahan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I do uh, get another goal. Nice bit of skill there by Kaka. He roulettes around the second player and he finesses it home to make it 2 0. And you'll see here again, Jose Callahan crosses it in, and Jesse Rodriguez is back post to finish that off. So I was pretty much cruising at this stage, and it went from bad to worse for my opponent. And a nice little bit of skill there by Jesse Rodriguez, and he puts it home to make it 4 0. And I just keep piling in them goals. It was Di Maria with the fifth, and by this point, it was really damage limitation for my opponent. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. The final nail in the coffin. Jesse Rodriguez puts that home with an absolutely superb finish. Did a little bit of a celebration there. And you'll see straight from kickoff, my opponent was not impressed whatsoever. He ends up saying, hey, listen, I'm done with this. I'm quitting. 6-0 is just a step too far. I don't think I can come back. And yeah, I get the win for that game. So I'm happy enough with that. Up to seven points in Division 2. One point off staving off relegation. And we are now seven points off getting promoted and another 10 off getting the championship. Anyways, on to the next game. And again, we get a Premier League team. Uh, some quick players in there. Ashley Young. Uh, Jekyll, not so quick, actually. Uh, he's got Luis Suarez, though, at centre forward. And Suarez was actually the one who punished me. You'll see there a very bad defending on my part. Suarez breaks free and pounds it past Adan to make it 1-0. I end up actually bring th bringing things level. You see there a nice little turn by Jesse Rodriguez. Left foot strike into the bottom right and finishes it superbly. And uh, yeah, it was one all at this stage and you'll see what happens next. This is a classic case of EA wanting to troll me. Uh, some of you guys may have witnessed this screen before. Basically, it just stays on this screen for ages. I waited for a while. And you'll see there, one week later, and it was still the exact same, no change. And there was only one thing I could do. There was no point in waiting, so I did have to dashboard, unfortunately. And this is what I was greeted with when I came back on Ultimate Team, saying that I did not finish my last match, and my DNF modifier is now officially fucked, so to speak. Anyways, I said I wanted a game, uh, one more game, just because I was so annoyed really at EA and uh, at the servers in general for kicking me off. 
And yeah, I ended up playing one last game to wrap this episode up. And you'll see there, this guy's got two very quick forwards. Two great players from FIFA 12, Dumbia and Wellington. He's also got Farfan and Tosic out wide. So a lot of pace here. But he makes a lot of mistakes with his keeper throughout this game. And I do make him, well, I punish him. And I do capitalize on them mistakes. But you see here a lovely finish by Dumbia off the post and in. No keeper would have saved that. He brings it all level. But I do end up going in front. You'll see there Pepe with the header to make it 2-1. Great, great finish there. But again, he does get one back. And this was dewy as hell. Or trampy or however you want to call that. It was uh, just so sweaty. He scored with Farfan there. And he makes another mistake with his keeper. <laughs> and I am happy to see that. You'll see here, Jose Callejon with the bit of skill. Cuts into the box. Roulette. Furness. Get in. 3-2. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I got a bit excited about that. I usually don't get excited, but uh, for that 3-2 goal, I was actually going quite hysterical. And I do finish it off. I get quite sweaty myself. And that's how the game ends. 4-2. We are up to 10 points overall and we have staved off relegation so worst case scenario we will still be in division two come next season but that is it for this episode guys i do hope you enjoyed it if you didn't make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not already but i'll see you next time